In scriptures, the human body is often referred to as the temple of God. Yet, it is quite an uncommon privilege for any soul to attain this sacred abode that houses the divine, as it is truly a blessing to be reborn as a human being. On several occasions, Supreme Master Ching Hai has spoken about the rarity of this phenomenon. To be reincarnated in the human world is hard. You have to have enough human quality. You have to have affinity with the parents, yeah, and with the society, with the people around which you were born. And very difficult. To be a human, you need some merit. You have done something good in the past in order to be able, yeah, <laughs> to be able to pick a human birth. As a living temple of God, the human body is fully equipped with miraculous wonders that can be awakened in those who are spiritually conscious and have complete faith in the Creator of all life. Inedia, Latin for fasting, is the human ability to live without food. Since time immemorial, there have always been individuals who can sustain themselves on prana, or the vital life force. Through the grace of the Providence, in idiots, people who follow a food-free lifestyle can draw the energy from nature to nourish themselves. They live on the chi, from the ground, or from the forest, and from the sun and from the air. They make use of all that. Or they live on love, on faith alone. These individuals are known as Breatharians, Silarians, Watarians, or Pranarians, and they come from all walks of life, from different cultures and all corners of the world. Indeed, the possibilities and miracles in this life as our benevolent Creator has designed for us are endless. We only need to connect within to recognize our abounding largest as God's children. Supreme Master Ching Hai has lovingly recommended a weekly series on Supreme Master Television to introduce those individuals of the past and present who have chosen to live food-free on earth. May their spiritual stories enthrall you, may hearts be opened and horizons be expanded. We now invite you to join us for our program, Hira Ratan Manak, Sun Gazing for Peace and Good Health, on Between Master and Disciples. This program discusses the possibility of breatharianism, or living without eating food, and is not a full instruction. For your safety, please do not attempt to cease eating without proper expert guidance. Welcome caring viewers to Between Master and Disciples on Supreme Master Television. Today we meet an amazing soul, Hira Ratan Manik, who travels the globe to teach others the art of sun gazing. In an interview with Miriam Knight, author for New Connection, Pacific Northwest Journal of Conscious Living, Hira Ratan Manik, also known as HRM, revealed the lofty ideal that continues to inspire him to travel the world in spite of his advanced age of 73. Global healing and peace everywhere. There'll be no energy crisis because sun energy will never end. No pollution because sun energy never produces pollutants. No obesity and no hunger. No AIDS and no cancer. All will be mentally, physically and spiritually fit. Yes, we're moving towards the golden age of Satya Yoga, from the present Kali Yoga, from bad to internal good. Through the art of sun gazing, Hira Ratan Manik achieves the ability to live food-free for extended periods of time. 
The longest he has ever been food free was 411 days when he was under the observation of a team of international medical doctors and scientists in Ahmedabad, India. Let us now find out more about this gentle soul with a big heart. Hira Ratan Manik, a former mechanical engineer, was born on September 12, 1937 in Bodavad, India. He grew up in Calicut, Kerala, where he attended school and finally obtained his degree in mechanical engineering from the University of Kerala. I was brought up in the southwest part of India, the state called Kerala, which is known as God's own land because the weather is the same there. We have a lot of things growing there like tea, coffee, cardamom, cashew, pepper, ginger, so many costly spices are grown there. I was educated in English medium and even today most of us study in English medium in India. So we are very fluent in English. Upon graduation, Hira Ratan Manik assisted in his family shipping and spice trading business. I was looking after the work of my ships. My family was owning so many ocean going big cargo and passenger ships. So as a owner, I used mechanical engineering, what I studied. And everything went on till 1975. Then the shipping ran into rough weather. We had to close down our company. After his family's business failed, he started his own spice business. Up until this time, Hira Ratan Manik had always been an avid reader of ancient cultures, an interest which he had developed since childhood. As a result of this pastime, he was drawn to the prevalent theme of sun worshipping in these ancient cultures. I was doing my shipping business, exporting spices to different parts of the world. Meanwhile, I got married. I have a wife one son, one daughter, two grandsons. And uh, in 1992, I took up the sun gazing, which I was reading from my age of 25 years. I was very much interested from my childhood about the ancient culture spread all over the world. And the culture of the Incas of South America, the Viracochas of Peru, the Mayans of Mexico, the Native Americans of United States, that attracted me very well. And there are many similarities between what we believe in India about the worship of the sun. So that led me more and more inside this sun gazing practice, why sun worship was there with different cultures in ancient times all over the world. And it took me 30 years finally to find out the secrets, why it was done and what were the benefits. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Between Master and Disciples will return in just a moment with our show on Hira Ratan Mani. Welcome back to Between Master and Disciples on Supreme Master Television. Let's continue with our feature on Hira Ratan Manik, spreading the Solarian message. During the course of his practice, Hira Ratan Manik realized that gazing at the sun on a regular basis would have tremendous benefits to the mental and physical well-being of anyone who practices it. With his science background, Hira Ratan Manik transformed the ancient art of sun gazing and made it more accessible to the modern world. I applied my scientific mind made a protocol of practice acceptable with the modern medical science beliefs and wisdom. I got successful. I had a lot of problems of sleeplessness, depression and all those things because of my 
business activities, I got cured from that. And then I thought this is the best thing to put it before doctors and satisfy them. And three times they also observed me, they agreed these things are possible. From 1995 to 1996, Hira Ratanmanik went food free for 211 days while under the observation of Dr. C.K. Ramachandran, a medical expert on allopathy and Ayurvedic medicine. Four years later, a team of 21 international medical doctors and scientists, led by Dr. Sudhir Shah and Dr. K.K. Shah, observed him in his food free state for 411 days. During the observation, Dr. Navneet Shah, an endocrinologist, reported, Mr. Hira Ratanmanik has completed a 411-day fast successfully on the 14th of February 2001. It started from 1st of January 2000. He was consuming boiled water daily only between 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. No other liquids and just no other food, no IV or IM injections. He was completely kept isolated while under strict observation. Medical checkup commenced a few days before fasting program and continued till today. It consists of daily written record of pulse, blood pressure, respiration, temperature, water intake. ECGs are taken regularly, ultrasonography, EEG, CT scan and MRI brain have been taken at the end of one year and a team consisting of general practitioner doctors, physicians, surgeons, cardiologists, endocrinologists and a neurologist have been examining regularly and periodically from the first day of fasting. There is no medical abnormality. Even the brain and mental capacities are absolutely normal. The rest of the other parameters are normal. The third time, the medical doctors and scientists at Thomas Jefferson University and the University of Pennsylvania in the US observed Hira Ratan Manik for 130 days. During this period of observation, they found that Hira Ratan Manik's gray cells were regenerating. 700 photographs have been taken where the neurons were reported to be active and not dying. Furthermore, the penile gland was expanding and not shrinking, which is typically what happens after mid-50s, and its maximum average size is about 6 by 6 millimeters. However, for HRM, it has been measured to be at 8 by 11 millimeters. After three years of practicing, Hiro Ratan Manik decided to close his business and dedicated his life to teaching others the ancient art of sun gazing to improve their quality of life. Now he travels around the globe to deliver nearly 300 lectures and workshops annually. I understood because this is a cost-free practice and humanity should not lose its benefits. So I wound up my business, retired from my business, and from 1995, I am preaching this practice all over the world. I am traveling non-stop all over the world for the last so many years. It's not at all difficult for me because I am getting lot of energy directly from the sun, which I have, my body, I have tuned to the sun. And this is what I am preaching to the people that to solve all problems in life, especially the health problems, sun is the, not only the easiest source, but also the cost-free source. And nowadays when we are facing problems of economy, when everyone wants to heal their problems with minimum cost, the sun gazing offers totally a cost-free practice and it is going very popular all over the world. We appreciate your compassionate presence for this episode of Between Master and Disciples. Join us again next Sunday for part two of Hira Ratan Manik, spreading the Solarian message. Now, please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for Good People, Good Works, coming up after noteworthy news. May heaven bless our earth with much love and wisdom. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD.